I'm going to show you how to create the mold box that we used in the mold making workshop with MakerBot. First select the top plane, click normal 2. Then we're going to click the fly out next to the rectangle tool and select center rectangle. Move to the origin. Select the origin and create a rectangle that's about 4 inches by 4 inches. Next we'll smart dimension the top dimension and our dimension is actually going to be 3.15 on both sides. Next we will create the fillets so select the sketch fillet and we'll make this 0.75 and then select all four corners After that, click on a circle, and we're going to put the circle on one of these construction lines. Dimension the circle to 0.275. We'll be using quarter inch bolts, so we want them to be a little bit larger than that, so they'll easily fit through. And then we can create three other circles. Now holding Selecting the first circle and holding control, click horizontal, select this circle, hold control and select the center of that circle, vertical. Do the same on this side, vertical. Do the same on this, the bottom, and make that horizontal. Then select all four outside edges and make them equal. This way, if we adjust the size, everything sort of stays where we want it. Now we will set a distance to the outside wall. I'll make it 0.45. Escape. Exit the sketch. Select the sketch. Go to the Features tab and click Extrude. And this will be 2.25. Now click on the top face and select Normal 2. We'll create a new sketch and again a center rectangle. And in this case, the center rectangle will be 2.35, 2.35. And we'll add a, again 3 quarter inch fillets. Exit the sketch, extrude cut, two inches. Now we need to add a plane. So starting from the top plane, we'll go to our features tab and select reference geometry, click plane. And this plane will be Now that we have this plane, we can create a sketch on it. Select the sketch. We can right click and normal to the plane. This will be our funnel to allow us to pour the material into it. So I'm going to create the shape of a funnel, or at least a profile view of one. This will be 0 0.35, 0 0.1, make this 0 0.5, exit that sketch, features tab, revolve, select this line here. First we need to make sure we're actually out of the sketch. Um, revolve, and accept that revolve. Now we need to add our holes through the part for uh, vents. So on the side, first we'll select the right plane, normal to that. Start sketching on the right plane and select a circle. And we're going to put that circle right in the middle of that plane we drew and also vertical of the origin.
if you want to force it to stay directly above the origin, you can do that. And we'll make this 0.25. So now this sketch is right in the middle. So we'll extrude cut and change our end condition through all both. Okay, so that's one side. Now we need to put one back here, so we will sketch right on that face, put another circle in a similar manner, 0.25, but in this case, extrude cut, we won't go all the way through both sides. I'll just make it 0.5 to make sure it makes it through. There's our part, but this really needs to be split into two pieces to make it useful. So in order to do that, first we want to save the part. So we can put this in a folder, call this full part. Then I can insert Go to Features, Split. For my trim tool, I'll select the plane. I'll cut the part. Select both of these. Double click on the top one and type in Top. On the bottom, we'll type in Bottom. And click Check. So our part has disappeared. You'll notice the split here. If I roll it back, the part is there. If I roll it forward, it's gone. But in the background, we have two other parts. So the cool thing about a split feature is I don't need to edit both of these parts individually. I can always go back and make changes to the main part so if I roll this back, for instance, say I want to make this a different size. I make this 4, and I make this 3. Now, if we got really fancy, we would have made this update when I adjusted the size. Now I'll roll the split forward again, and I'll go back and look at the other two parts, and they should have updated. So there's my top. And there's my bottom. So makes it very quick and easy to make changes and then have both pieces update. But we don't want that size. We want the size we had before. I'm going to change this back to 2.35. Change this back to 3.15. Roll my split forward. And we'll see everything has updated back to normal. So now if we want to print this part, then we could save this out in this, as an STL file. Or if you're using MakerBot's print software, it actually allows you to import full STL files, so or full SOLIDWORKS files or other CAD programs, uh, native file formats. So I'm going to find my, my files here, and I'm going to just drag and drop them directly into MakerBot Print as SOLIDWORKS files. And I need to do a little bit of arranging here. So I can click the Orient button, place a face. So I'll select that and tell that to be the bottom. Rotate this around and do the same thing here. Select that, click bottom, done. Click arrange build plate. And there it is. So from here, I could just slice the part and print it. 
so that's it that's how you create a mold box that can be quickly edited to fit whatever size you'd like